Enphase Ensemble. Is this the Tesla Powerwall killer? In today's video, I'm going to be telling you three reasons why the Enphase Ensemble beats the Tesla Powerwall battery. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And usually we're doing that using renewable energy, solar power, plus battery backup, and sometimes generator backup as well. Now in today's video, this is gonna be a follow-up to one of our most popular comparison videos we did two months ago called N-Charge Battery versus Tesla Powerwall. And today I'm coming back to you with what I believe are three reasons why the Enphase battery is actually far superior to the Tesla Powerwall. First, let's give you a little bit about history of the two companies. Enphase has been the market leader in microinverter technology for the past 10 years and beyond. The goal has always been to provide the most reliable, best performing residential solar power systems. Tesla, on the other hand, had the goal of making the lowest cost solar available to the most people possible. So Tesla's was never about performance, but more about lowering cost. And sometimes lowering that cost came at the expense of quality. Now today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down three reasons why the N-Charge battery from uh, Enphase is superior. And the first is the off-grid performance. Now, in a grid down event, if you're using an AC coupled battery like the Tesla Powerwall, uh, what that means is that the interface between the solar power system and the battery system happens at the AC circuit breaker panel, right? The interface between the solar and the batteries is at the AC circuit breaker panel. That helps in terms of ease of wiring and ease of installation, but where it really uh, is a drawback is in the battery's ability to control the solar panels. You see, in a grid down mode, when you're using an AC coupled battery, the battery has no ability to throttle the solar power output. It's either all or nothing. So if the solar, power is, or the solar panels are in full sunlight and the house has been fully powered and the battery is fully charged, if there's nowhere else for that extra solar power to go, the battery just has to shut it all down. And there's a minimum five minute timeout where it basically will just count down uh, a 300 second timer and then try to turn back on again. But if you're still in full sunlight, that battery charges back up again full, then the battery has to shut all the solar panels down for another five minutes. Okay, so here's the problem with this. You could be throwing half of your solar energy away on a bright sunny day, right? There's no way for the, the power wall in this case to regulate solar output, so it has to just turn it off completely. The other problem is that creates a lot of micro cycles on your battery. You know, you're charging your battery up full, then you're shutting panels off for five minutes, so you're draining the battery for five minutes, then charging it back, draining it for five minutes, charging it back, and that can really, really shorten the life of your battery. Now, what you have with the Enphase product, on the other hand, is the ability for the Enphase battery to precisely control the solar output from the Enphase microinverters on the roof. The battery itself uses a proprietary communication protocol where it can actually turn on or off individual solar panels so that it can directly balance the solar output and the needs of the house and the battery. It never has to shut the entire system off, so you're not gonna have potential great uh, energy harvest loss like you would with a, a purely AC coupled power wall system. This is incredibly important if you're in a grid down environment where you, know, you need every bit of energy that you're able to collect and the N-Charge system allows you to do that with much, much better efficiency. The second reason is because of the length of the warranty. Now, when the Tesla Powerwall 2 was, first came out, if you look at the original warranty document, the battery was limited into how much total energy throughput was allowed through it when you're using the battery for time of use. What that means is that if you live in places like California, where you have very, very high peak electric rates, but very, very low off peak rates, you wanna be able to take advantage of your battery so that you can actually run off your battery to avoid having to purchase from the power company during peak hours. And then you can just recharge your battery during the evening hours when the energy is, 
is more cheap or just let the solar panels recharge it the next day. But when you use the battery in that type of mode, you're going to be exercising it much more frequently than if you're just doing a purely backup mode, right? Now, when Tesla first released the Powerwall 2, if you do the math on it, based on a 13 and a half kilowatt hour battery capacity and their stated maximum uh, energy throughput for time of use consumption, it worked out to only 2,800 cycles that you could cycle the battery until the warranty was void. Now, the n charge battery, on the other hand, has a 10-year, 10,000 cycle warranty, so potentially lasting nearly four times as long as the original Tesla Powerwall 2. Now, Tesla caught wind of this and they knew that it was going to be costing them competitively, so they went ahead and changed the terms of the warranty and just made it a, a flat 10-year unlimited cycle warranty. But the problem is they didn't change the product, they just changed the warranty document. So what's going to happen as some of these early adopters of the Tesla Powerwall 2, as some of these batteries start to near the end of their service life, we don't know what's going to happen. Are those batteries going to continue to function and hold charge as they're warranted to do? Or are we going to be seeing a huge wave of warranty claims of Tesla Powerwall 2 owners who are using time of use in California and the battery's just not able to keep up? Part of the reason the Enphase battery lasts longer is because of the lithium iron phosphate chemistry. All right, it's a heavier chemistry, but it's considered much safer and much, much more durable. And that's why Enphase is able to offer a 10-year, 10,000 cycle warranty compared to what Tesla is able to offer. And then the final reason is just because we have now have enough experience having rolled these units out in the field to know that when problems do occur, Enphase provides top tier customer support. In fact, in many cases, Enphase's own engineers may detect a problem with the battery and in some cases they'll proactively ship a replacement unit to us with all the packaging we need to go ahead and ship the, the bad unit back to them. With Tesla, I'll just say it's been less than an ideal situation trying to deal with somebody to provide tech support if we ever do have to RMA a unit uh, and replace it. So you want to make sure that the company that you're partnering with for your solar and storage system is going to stand behind that product and they're going to make sure that they're doing everything they can to make sure that you have an excellent experience as a, uh, as a system owner. If you want to look at reviews, you can look at online reviews at other sites as far as what customers have to say about the Tesla and, and the Tesla Powerwall customer service process and I'll just say it's, it's, it's less than ideal. So folks, this has been why the Enphase N Charge battery beats Tesla Powerwall head to head. Now, if you're interested in getting a price quote for this solar and battery system, we'd be happy to do that for you. You can reach out to us on the link below. Also, I'll tell you this, right now, we still have many of our installers that are working to get through the Enphase Certified Installer Training Program. So as of today, as I'm recording this today, we can offer the battery for installation in California, Texas, Virginia, North Carolina, and New Mexico. However, we do have many of our other installation partners working to get through the program. So if you, if you believe that this is the right solution for you, you can go ahead and get started with solar now using the Enphase microinverters. And then once we have installers through the battery training, we'll be able to get them to come back out and we'll give you priority if you already are an existing uh, solar with Enphase microinverter customer, will give you priority when it comes time when we can actually offer the battery upgrade as well. Well, folks, as always, I thank you for taking the time to watch the channel today. Uh, if you're getting good information from the videos, make sure you click on that like button. That'll force YouTube and the other platforms to, to make the video more visible so more people can see it. If they don't see you clicking and sharing and liking, YouTube will just bury the video and nobody will see it ever again. So please make sure you do that. And also make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. That way you won't miss any of the new videos that we're putting out. Right now we're trying to put out three or four new videos every week. Well, as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.